We are Rusty and Cheryl Carbaugh, and our story is about never giving up and never losing hope. We both have a shattered past of sexual abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse, and even drug and alcohol abuse. By the age of 20, I was a full-blown junkie, alcoholic. Um, just a lot of my, my soul wounds when I was a kid just ate me up. They caught up to me when I was about 23 weeks. There was a New Year's Eve party. Stuff got out of control. Then I ended up going to prison, facing 25 years at 23 years old. And I was an atheist. We were two broken people that got brought together in 2016. We got married, wanted a fresh start. Felt like God wanted us to come to Houston. Rusty got a job offer. Unfortunately, that job offer didn't pan out. He ran out of money, and unfortunately, we had to live in our car. So this is where we used to park every night. And um, we'd just spend the night here until the next morning. And then we'd wake up and go about our day. So we would eat at just about all these restaurants around here. We would uh, get the receipt and fill out the survey on the back and then it would give us food for the next day. And at times, if you're, if you're not careful, we would even allow shame to come in. We'd be shamed, you know, because nobody really sees you. You don't always look the best. You can't really get your hair cut. You know, there's a lot of things that we take for granted that we didn't really have access to. So there would be some nights we'd want to give up, and there were days I wanted to give up and he didn't, and then days where he didn't and I did. And we would just sit in the car and I would get my little cell phone and I would put it on the air conditioner button and we would just listen to Pastor Joe and it would encourage us. And no matter what was going on around us, inside of our car was hope. Inside of our car was we could make it. Inside of our car was God was with us. Inside of our car was God was there. So no matter what was going on outside, we had each other and we had God. In that time, I think God, for us, highlighted homelessness and to realize that these are people just like us and God wants us to love on them just like he loved on us. So that's what we did. We were homeless, but we loved on the homeless people. What I did during Harvey was that I, I volunteered just my time and my skills to help people get their homes back in order. And we didn't have a home <laughs> um, and we're trying to help others that lost their home get their home back in order so that they can bring their families back together. I just want to serve Jesus. That's it's kind of our mission. It doesn't, we don't really ask a lot of questions. Let's just serve Jesus. And it's, sometimes it doesn't always look the way that we think it should look. My life is amazing right now. Just the peace and the joy that I have, just to see what God can do with somebody like me that was just an atheist and a junkie and didn't, didn't like people, you know, and, and just to see his mercy on me. And then to see that, now I got my own business. Um, now we have a home, we have a nice home, we have a nice car, you know, I have a beautiful wife that is by my side through the thick and the thin. And it's just incredible. And he can, you know, he can do it for anybody. Yeah, it's not over until God says it's over. Hey, that's it. Yeah, it's not That's over. really the bottom line. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter what life looks like, what your circumstances, what's going on in the world. It is not over until God says it's over.